Hey everyone, Tony D and Little Joan here, back with another trailer on the Screenwriter's Rant. This one's called Wounds. Smash like and subscribe and check out Wokistan, The Pineys, The Web Comic Factory, and Super Frat. Lots of stuff to read. Okay, let's check out this movie trailer. It's a Netflix film. Ooh. Well, this is getting nasty. This. The descent into horror. I don't know. A bar fight that descends into horror? That's kind of intriguing, if that's what happens. There's something on this phone here. I think something something's here with me. We shouldn't have messed with those books. I'm scared. Looks gross. Hmm. A lot, a lot of gross stuff going on in that horror movie. Um, you got the bugs, you got the mysterious bleeding, you've got uh, books, ancient books of some kind. You've got kids messing around with supernatural forces. This movie's got a lot in it. I, you know, I think my gut feeling is it's kind of just heaping on a lot of horror elements. Yeah. You know, one of the more interesting horror movies in recent years was The Babadook. And I think one of the reasons it's such an interesting movie is the relationship between the mother and the son and how the status changes in that movie. You kind of don't know where you're at, and you're, it's creepy, it's weird. First the kid's like this maniac, and you hate him, and then like you realize, oh, wait a minute, maybe it's good he's that way, because this is the only kind of kid that could survive this. This seems just sort of like, here's a bunch of characters. It looks like it's always sunny in Philadelphia type characters, and now there's a bunch of horror elements. Let's see what happens. Which isn't necessarily bad, but it feels a little random. Doesn't feel like, uh, you know, constructed. So, on the one hand, I kind of like horror, but on the other hand, if it's that random of setup, could they really have a plan for the ending? Because a lot of these movies are about the ending, you know, a shocking ending, but not just something that, you know, it says in the review there, it comes out of left field. Well,. You don't want it too far out of left field. Then you're like, well, wait a minute. Why did that happen? You know, it has to make sense within the confines of the supernatural thing, whatever it is. You know, the Babadook made sense in its own weird way. It was weird, but it kind of made sense. And there weren't a lot of elements to it. So, you know, you couldn't start saying, well, what if this happened or this happened? There were only a few things that happened in the damn movie. This has a lot of characters in it. A lot of stuff could happen. So, you know, I have my doubts. But it's on Netflix. And if you got Netflix, um, you know, it does look like it's made well. It's got a lot of horror elements in it. And therefore, I think you could at least check it out. And if it sucks, you could always fast forward it or just click on the Trailer Park Boys.